looking back all these years. You start Welcome, Romani. Bye, Anki. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thanks Good for taking the there. time to be here. Thank you. It's great being here. Great being here. Yeah, so I think let's let's discuss your music career, um, your influences, you know. Yeah, so my influences um, definitely change depending who I'm listening to at that month and stuff. But the, but the consistent line through everything has always been John Mayer, the 1975. Good old singer-songwriters like Dean Lewis and Dermot Kennedy. It's been the... It's been the basis of it all, yeah. And for somebody that, that listens to you for the first yeah. time, what can they expect from your voice? What's your tone? Um, so I think if I had to explain it into a couple of sentences, I like to um, think of myself or explain myself in a way that I, I bring a, a balance between feel-good pop rock and the African feel that um, Juluka and... Johnny Clegg had, like yeah, so, so John so Mayer, John, Johnny Clegg, exactly. It's a, fuse, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fuse. It's a fusion. fusion. It's a it's a very organic, very harmonious. And balance. and during COVID, I mean, you couldn't jam with with yeah. fellow musos. Yeah. Um, how did you get around it? What did you do? So it was actually, it was actually quite a struggle because this is my full-time job, this is what I do. Um, it was actually a couple of times in and during COVID, I, I seriously thought about just stopping and not... Not doing music not anymore. Not doing music anymore. Yeah. But luckily I, I, I persisted. So for me, it, it's, it's just been a so lot you, of... So you adapted to, to social yeah. media feeds? Yeah. More life, life yeah. kind of online. Yeah. So what I started doing is I started making videos in my little music room. Yeah, <laughs> little music room that I had just of me playing guitar, uploading it, and I did. Um, I started writing songs again, Style. and and it's actually been a, a cool journey of self discovery as well. Great. Because when you're in that situation, yeah. you're just there with yourself. And if you, if you um, have the opportunity to do a duet uh, with someone, who would that be? Yeah, that's a very good question. So I would have to say locally, uh, there's a couple of people. So locally there would be Tashe, of course. There would be Demi Limur, there will be um, Franche Van Gogh would be an amazing one. Internationally, I would like to do with my idol, which is John Mayer. That a will collab be, with John. A, a, a collab with John will be incredible. Um, even Ed Sheeran will be great. Another local guy, Jeremy Loops, will be Jeremy Loops. amazing. You know, so there's a couple of guys that I think, and, and girls, which I think will be a great experience. Yeah. And how do you get yourself into a happy space? Let's say you had a hard day or negative criticism from, from social media and just you just had a, a rough spot and you need to be on stage, perform, have your passion and energy show. Um, how do you get yourself to that space, that mind frame? So for me, there's a, as I'm an a, a extreme introvert as well, for me, just to get on stage is something like I had to learn. Big ask. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's something I had to learn. It's something yeah. that I had to to adapt to. So for me, that's a whole different mindset I have to go into. Um, so when I get, get and it's happened a couple of times where I rock up at a gig and I've had just the most horrible day, but now I need to make it work. The people are there. It's a great vibe, but I'm not feeling it. And and it's just the mindset that I have to go into. I leave whatever is worrying me or bringing me down i leave that kind of at home yeah because i'm now working i'm on stage but um i have to say i'm also a firm believer in if you feel sad if you have a bad moment or you're feeling a bit down just acknowledge that you have that moment and accept it and and if you want to put your headphones on and just listen to some music and just be in your room do that acknowledge i am sad yeah. now yeah and don't and, and dwell just, on it, yeah. just acknowledge it, know that it's move on. happening, because yeah. it will pass. Exactly. It, it, takes, it takes different amounts of time. Hey guys, my name is Ruben, and join us for the Worker Blues Session, the 25th of September, here at Dorland Simulant.